Hi there, Casey and Jen here for another Fusion video. Today we're going to talk a little bit about release work. And so I have Jen on a foam roller. Now, I feel like this is a standard prop in almost every Pilates studio now. And it's a really nice um, prop to help release the, the myofascial tissue in the body and also your clients to have this at home so that they can do all sorts of different types of homework, but that's for another video. Today we're going to be talking about the outer hips. So Jen, I'm going to have you lean onto your hands. So this is, again, a really nice thing to actually start your classes with so that you can get this beautiful range of motion going before we add on any type of strengthening exercises. So Jen, I just want you to roll front and back all the way on the back of the pelvis. This is really nice on the back of the sacrum. You can even go into the low back a little bit, but this really helps to kind of melt away the tension on the back of the pelvis. And now we get to go into the fun stuff. So I want you to lean into one tush cheek, that right hip, back of the glute. And so as she's rolling, there can be some very sticky points here. Mm -hmm. She might have to lean on one hand more than the other. You just want to make sure that the hands and the feet uh, are nice and supporting the body and helping to leverage. But we want to try to get as much body weight on this glute as possible. And then go ahead to the other side for a few rolls. And here you want to start to point out to your clients that they, you want them to use their breath because that's their first mode of release. Seeing if they can soften anywhere else in the body as they roll out the hip. And then also point out asymmetries. Do they feel one hip more than the other? And almost everybody does. So now, Jen, go ahead and go back center. For those of your clients that can do a little bit more than this, go ahead, almost go into a piriformis stretch. So you're going to bring, yep, the ankle onto the knee, opening it wide, and then you're going to roll onto that hip that you're stretching. Okay, and rolling out the side. So we're bringing that whole piriformis line into a stretch, all the glutes, and then having her roll. So this is fantastic to really get in there and floss the tissue. Good. And come back center and then switch the cross, leaning into the opposite side. If you find anywhere that feels like a really tight trigger point, you can even put pressure into it to breathe and release. Mm -hmm. So this is a wonderful prerequisite for any type of side kicks, squatting, um, and stretches. So how does that feel, Jen? Really good. I'm finding lots of stuff. <laughs> lots of stuff, absolutely. And so challenge your clients to do this at home, to do a little compare and contrast, because they can really start to feel this area change. Thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you soon.